What is up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerdcast for the next episode of Portal Knights. My name is Splattercat. Very happy to have you here today as we hang out yet again. I feel like a broken record, but every single time we hang out, I feel a little bit happier about my situation. So welcome on back to Portal Knights. This is our base. I picked up some extra stuff that was just laying around at random bases, like here and there, and I figured it would probably be helpful. Now, the door spacing is not something that I'm super confident with, and so this might not be a useful door. We might not be able to have a door for a little while. It actually looks like this door right here will not fit the spacing that we have for our base. And that's cool. I'm just going to throw it in a chest then. That's perfectly fine. Take that thing straight to the chest and not care about it anymore. I harvested up some more refined wood blocks, some stone bricks so that we can continue the construction today. We'll probably spend about a half an episode doing that. And then once it's done, we'll spend about a half an episode doing something else like finding super awesome bitchin' treasures. So if, I mean, I love bitching treasures as long as they aren't bitching at me. I think that's part of the, I think that's probably my main caveat. I'm going to go ahead and put in, eh. I mean, it's a little questionable. I think that works right there. I think that looks a little bit nicer. And then it breaks up kind of the uniformity. It gives it almost like a little bit of a dwarvish look where you've got like a capstone right there. And I like that about it. I don't like to do things uniform if I can help it. I mean, I like to keep the building structure uniform. But when there's like little things in the walls and designs and stuff like that, I like to break up the tedium a little bit. I like to break up the tedium. I was trying to do a Star Wars joke, but it didn't work. I'm a failure. I'm sorry, everybody. I failed you. You came here expecting me to do super awesome, funny, funny jokes. And I have failed you miserably. I came in, I clocked in, and I said, nope. Not today, Nerdcastle. Not today. I don't know if I can do this any longer. And this right here will actually be perfectly fine. So long as we run the outside of the structure, we should be good. Yeah, that works for me. That seems like it'll be all right. Still, regardless of where we're at right now, I do think we can make a pretty base out of all this. And so that's all that I'm really striving for right now. I don't think we need all these random blocks right here. I'm actually going to leave some of those little ledges all nice and unpaved with stone because I don't think it needs it. I think it'll work out perfectly fine. It looks as though there it is. There's a nice placement line. Placement in this game is a little bit different from what you'd expect. If you play a lot of Minecraft and stuff like that, placement in this game is going to feel a little bit slower. That's one thing that I've noticed. It's also going to feel a little bit clumsier. And that might be due to the fact that I'm not doing things in first person mode. That might be like 100% of it. I just don't like playing in third person, I'm sorry, in first person if I've got third person available. And so now we got that. This is mostly for outdoor decoration anyways. So that should be cool, I think. Now I don't know the exact way that I want to get this done. Got to kind of look at it from a distance. I like the way it's turned out so far. I think there are some minor changes that I'd like to make in order to make it a tad of a bit purtier. But all in all, I think aesthetically, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way that it's fallen together. I've got some extra blocks over here i got to get rid of, too, so let's break those out real fast. Break out! She's too. She's too. I break out! I don't know what the hell she's saying right there, to be honest. It just sounds like words to me. Yeah, she might as well just be saying random words. Shishu, shishu, random words. Yeah, even in first person, it feels a little weird placing some of these stones sometimes. I don't know. It's just a thing that I've noticed. I definitely think block placement could be a little bit quicker and a little bit less clumsy. Like, I've seen it, basically, I've seen it done better in other games. And I'm not trying to bitch or nitpick or anything like that, but I believe that part of what I do here on YouTube is to critique a little bit and be like, yeah, they could mess around with stuff and make it a little bit better. Like, I feel like I'm not doing my job properly if I don't point out little things that I think your average player is going to notice. Like, I don't feel like I can place quickly here. Like, I feel like I'm basically just sticking it out and hoping for the best. I really hope we have enough blocks to fill this area. If I have to go back and farm more blocks, it's going to be an upsetting experience for me. It's going to be an upsetting transitional experience that I don't really want to participate in. And I think we are going to need more blocks. I don't think this is going to fit. I don't think this is going to fit. How crazy would that be if I have the perfect amount of blocks for this? I don't think it's going to come down like that, but 
it'd be pretty wild if it did, right? It'd be running around in the jungle just being like, wah! It's like losing its mind. That's what I think. When I use the word wild, when I see something's getting wild, I think about like crocodiles and shit like grabbing monkeys out of lagoons and just being like, wah! And it's like taking them out. You know, like straight nature, like gangster shit. I think that'll work. Yeah, we actually landed that pretty close. We landed that pretty close. We still need some flooring, but all in all, I think we've got just about all the finishing touches on this thing. It's looking like it's going to keep us sheltered from the rain and from pain and from those bastards, the Dufranes, because ain't nobody want to deal with the Dufranes right now. The Dufranes show up. I might just fold it up and cancel the video. I'll be like, that's it. I'm done with the internet. If I got to deal with the Dufranes, we're done here. I don't own oh, balls. Here, give me that back. I think I'm going to need all of those. But for right now, let's take a look at the spacing. I was pretty careful to try and make this land all on odds. So it should work out. Eh, that one looks a little weird. Maybe right there. That still looks a little odd. I don't know. It may not encircle properly. That's always the problem you run into when you try to do castellations or whatever the hell those things are called on top of your base. That pumpkin sounded very threatening for just a second. I thought that pumpkin was heading straight for me. I was like, no, pumpkin, no! How could you betray me at this point in our relationship? I thought we were cool, pumpkin. I thought we were cool. He's like, no, you called me pumpkin. It's a term of endearment, but it's a little bit belittling, and so I don't like it that much, and I know I've never brought it up until this point, and I probably should have brought it up for the good of our relationship. I probably should have brought it up beforehand, but it's still, it, it bothers me pretty considerably, and I wish that you hadn't done it for so long. Like, I wish that you had sort of caught on to the way that my eyes looked whenever you did that. And so anyways, I, I feel like this is the time where we should probably call this to a stop, just because... It's bothered me. It's bothered me for a while. Let's tear down some torches, shall we? And then I will put some lanterns in here. Not to be confused with the land rotates. Those are two completely different objects. And that's got it lit up pretty good inside of here. I mean, for a medieval world, this is far more illumination than I think most of your average peasants would ever hope for. And that fills me with joy. So we've got things to do here. That chest is full. Can't do nothing with it. This chest is kind of foolish. I don't know. Yeah, we've got a lot of stuff going on, so we might want to build another chest, too. Let me jump on in here, and if we got another chest, that would be the best. Give it all a rest. Hit it with some zest. All up on its rest. Yup. Ah, you thought I was going to rhyme again, but then I didn't. I just ended with yup. It seemed easy at the moment. It seemed like what I wanted to go for. So we got another chest over here. There it is. Where this chest is going to go, I couldn't really tell you. I'd say we could probably drop it like right here on either side, and that would work out perfectly well. And then I'll put the other one over on that side. So let's make another one so that it's symmetrical, because I like things to be at least somewhat. Oh, we got a wooden window frame. That might work out for us. I'll give that a go. I would like there to be a little bit of natural light inside of here. I don't want it to be dark like a dungeon. Like, there's got to be something to differentiate us from the bad guys. You know what I mean? Like, the bad guys always got that dank and dark dungeon shit going on. And I don't, I don't want to play... Arr, I did it again. And that one goes right there. And so there we are. We're all squared away. There's lots, of, there's lots of little retrofitting projects that we can do. Eventually, I'll probably knock out a wall here and expand and make it a little bit larger. Make it run into this wall right here so that we got like a separate room on here. Basically, I've left myself open to converting a lot of this into wings. And I think that's going to be pretty sweet. I think this Hollow Knight of Fire wants some. I think he's coming up in here like asking for trouble, if not begging, I think. Ooh, he thought he was going to get me. My Fable skills. My Fable skills come back with a quickness. I haven't played Fable in a while, but... He's shooting firewalls and shit at us. The king of the land over here. There we go. He's all done and taken care of. We got 51 health from right there, and we got another essence of the Fire Lord. I needed fire bowls. We were going to place these outdoors. Sort of just like in corners like that. That's actually... 
100% perfect. It'd be cooler if we could get them up on the roof a little bit, but I can live with it going how it is right now. We're missing a block right here, so I'm just going to place one of my extras, and then we'll place that right there. This is looking really, really nice. I'm pleased with what we have going on. It's not like a masterful. Don't expect me to be like one of those guys who was able to do all kinds of crazy shit when it comes to Minecraft and, like, building. I'm just not that good at it. I like Legos as much as the next guy, and I like fiddling around with shit as much as the next guy. But I am not the Grandmaster Champion. Alright, so this right here is going to be building supplies. So we'll drop these on off. Yep, building supplies. Blocks and related sundries. And also maybe a little bit of wood in there somewhere. Since I know now that we can teleport whenever the hell we want, it's perfect. This one over here is going to be random crafting supplies. So I will go back to here. We'll throw that in there. This is, what is this doing right now? Okay, I just wanted to make sure. I'll throw that in there. We'll throw seeds in here. Bones are fine, too. I'll probably hold on to them for a little bit. Probably throw that in there. We've got a refined verdant emerald. Have no clue what that's going to be useful for, but I'm sure at some point they'll spring it on us and be like, hey, this is useful for a thing in our game. Maybe you should have one. Got a big-ass book over here. Just in case we wanted to focus on literacy, I don't really care about that shenanigan. Oh, really? So medium, we can actually, can we... We've got carrot seeds and carrots. Oh, we can actually plant farms and shit out here, can't we? That'd be kind of fun. I mean, I'm not going to sit down and do it right now. But I do think it would assist us long term. Apparently, healing potions come from carrots. Who could have known? I learned a thing today. It's been about 10 minutes. I figure we should go back out and adventure. So let's do that, shall we? We can travel to this desert zone over here. I don't know if we actually hit this place. I think we did. I think we actually hit this one. And so having a look around, eh, it only takes a second to look around. I'm happy with it. So we teleported in low. Yeah, I recall being here. So we've been here. Let's go to the next zone then. We've got actually no gate from this location. It's a dead end. And so the next thing that I would suggest is that we actually backtrack. I like having a cleared out map where you've seen everywhere that I've been and I've hit everything along the way. And so while for some people this might seem a little bit boring, you'd be like, why are you doing lower level stuff? I like filling out all the maps. That's just me personally. This is where I got most of my building materials at for our house. I think we already took care of this shit over here. And my suggestion would be verily, let us place the stones inside of the mouth of the Great Skull and hope that it takes us somewhere else. We're going to Burning Sands right now. Which sounds like some kind of, I don't know, it sounds like a Mario 64 level. Or if nothing else, maybe like a music festival or something. Going to Burning Sands this year, dude. You ever been to Burning Sands? It is off the chain, bruh. What is that right there? I think it's just like a Sproutling or something. I need torches. I can't see right now. This is looking like some kind of underground structure that we're going to be able to plumba. And plumbo we shall. I'm going to continue grabbing copper every now and again. Because I think we're going to need it. Jump down and just sort of take it very, very slow. Because we don't know what challenges await us down here in the dark. Got some more of those crystal things that I still have no idea what they do. I assume they're probably for like wizard stabs or something. I think this is probably going to take us to our next little dungeon area. I like the clockwork music they have going on right now. You hear that ticking in the background? It's cool stuff. I like it. There we go. Come get some skeletons. I'm not afraid of you. I got this covered. You've been easy peasy mode since we arrived. Been working that bone since the moment I was born. That came out wrong, but whatever. I'm going to leave it up on here. I'm not even going to edit it out. I'm just going to claim it and be proud of it. Working that bone like we trained to do it. Working that bone like we got a degree. Is there anything up here? No, it's a dead end. Well, a live end. We didn't die in the dead end. I always feel like it needs to be a little bit more literal than that. On this side, that's not where I want to be. Is there another door? There it is right there. I knew there was going to be like another vestibula in here. A vestibuli. Did he die? I think he blew his ass up. Huh. Alright then. 
Let's kill off some skeletons. I noticed on the other side of the map, if we work our way around, there is like a boss fight or something. So if we can get after that, that might provide us with some better loot as well. I'm going to break these pots while I'm in here. They seem to give you the same amount of XP as like killing a mob, and so it'll accelerate our progress a bit. If we can bash these little bastards open every now and again. These little earthworks things. I ain't down with that. I like everything in like brushed steel and stuff like that. I don't like earthenware. Earthenware doesn't do anything for me. I like the way it looks. It doesn't rustle my jimmies in the most pleasant of ways. It looks like these overhangs are fairly standard on both sides. Jump back down this way, and then I think this is our door. Ah, bastard. So I think those suicide, actually, now that I've seen them. Down he goes, get 51 HP out of that transaction, which is absolutely acceptable. I see a door there, and nothing down in that little alcove. So we'll stick with the door here. So these always suicide, or like, oh, they're bomb gazers. Okay, that makes sense. We got a yellow portal stone shard right there. I think that's probably to access the boss. When I was looking at the map... Well, I thought his icon was in yellow. Never mind, I might be wrong. Either way, I think we should be hitting all these dungeons. I think it's in poor taste to not hit all the dungeon. Oh man, we got another bomb gazer in here. Oh man, come on, Tide. Come on, Tide. He's gonna bomb us. There we go. Now you got it. What's inside of here? We got some copper plate blocks. We got some explosion bombs. Got ourselves some katan. We got ourselves some copper. Uh, he blew us up already. Ain't nothing we can do about that one. That's probably our portal right there. It's going to take us elsewhere. Let's make sure we don't have more treasures around, though. Because I do enjoy my treasures. We got some minor healing potions, explosion bombs. Isn't Aren't all bombs explosion bombs? That seems like we're kind of, I don't know, being a little redundant, I guess. I'm not trying to be a dick and like make somebody look stupid. That's not my goal. That's never my goal. Oh, we're actually out of portal stones here. What do the yellow ones do that's so ridiculously different from the blue ones? I wonder. Oh, it won't accept him. You gotta have the blues. Okay, well, sometimes you gotta have the blues. You gotta walk those scales, do those things. I got those deep down in the dungeon, can't use my block blues. It made me so sad from my head to my shoes. Now I'm playing some chords out here on stage for you. Cause I got the, can't use my blocks to fill up that little port of blues. Wow, wow. Cause I can't use my blocks, my baby left me. And I can't find my old truck. I can feel like this, I feel like this is gonna lead to profanity. I feel like this is gonna. I'm gonna stop it right now before it gets out of control. I know it's gonna. I have that tendency to like get hyped and just gow. I think there's a stairwell right here. Yeah, we gotta find our way out. I gotta figure out where I'm gonna get more blue portal stones from. I hope I don't have to go back to like the lobby zones and like farm out a shit ton of them. It seemed like for a while we were just like leapfrogging left and right. And it looks like we may have hit our first major impasse. That's a fall down into the abyss, and I'm not okay with that kind of leg damage right now. It looks like the zone is actually sort of oddly constructed. We might be able to work our way up this way. Yeah, and it looks like it. I haven't seen any enemies on the surface just yet, but they gotta be around here somewhere, right? Are you going to give me yellows? What are you going to give me? Oh, yeah. That one's giving me yellow shards, too. Interestingly enough, it looks like we've trans... Like, we've... I guess we've transferred from one side of a river to the other with regards to progression. Like, we need, like, a new set of items right now. I guess we've tiered up. There we go. That's the word that I was looking for. We have increased our tier. I am slightly concerned about what's going on right there. What's on the ground right there? That's something. I think if I can make this work right here. Uh, that jumps a little far for me. 
That jump's a little sketchy. Let's get a little bit more dirt before we try it out, but I want to see what that shiny thing is on the ground over there. There are shiny things, and I wish to claim them for myself. And no one else. I am a greedy hero who requires much tribute. And we'll just make the jump right there, and then we'll have a look at whatever this silver thing is on the ground on this side. Oh, he fires out little perpendicularity things. Okay, gotcha. Or I guess he fires them out in cardinal directions. Oh, it's an e it's a turtle. Okay, I thought it was like some kind of new metal node. A sand shell. Well, sand shell's about to get whooped on. Yep, we took the stick. Oh, we got a verdant emerald. That's pretty sweet. We took the stick to that turtle. He found out the hard way. I guess I gotta go back and I'm gonna farm out some more portal shards. I don't know what's going on with that stuff, but it looks like I am all outsies. And I don't want to be outsies anymore, so I think I'm gonna drop the episode right here. My name is Lettercat. Thank you for joining me at the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Portal Knights. I'm gonna go back and farm some... No, that's not what I wanted. Anyways, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna farm out some blue stones. When we come back in the next episode, I promise no building. We're just going to, like, mash straight through. I'll probably upgrade our gear a little bit. But aside from that, we're going to see if we can make it to the boss fight in the next episode. That sounds like it'll be a lot of fun. So if you're on board with that, and also it looks like maybe... What is this? Oh, it just wants me to Hearthstone for the dungeon tower? All right, whatever. I will see you all in the next iteration of our series. It's been a blast hanging out and hosting for all of you. See you next time, everybody. Bye.